Mass Shaw. Yeah. How do you support the full potential of your championship? This feels like a subject we've debated many times since Donald Trump was inaugurated a month ago today. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank every single one of my constituents who has used this petition to have their voice heard. Just over 3,500 constituents of Bradford West have signed the petition to prevent Donald Trump's state visit. That's nearly 60 people in every 1,000 registered voters. In the last 31 days, what we have seen has in many ways been chilling. The executive orders that have dominated Donald Trump's first weeks in the White House have been frightening. And the question many of us are asking, where does this slippery slope really lead? If we take only one of the groups of people he has sought to divide, those of a Muslim faith, not necessarily distinct to one country or another, his rhetoric has been so broad that even I personally, as a Muslim, feel attacked and misrepresented. And no doubt, many of my constituents who make wonderful contributions to this country on a daily basis feel the same way. We have to take every opportunity to show that his negativity and divisive messages are not going to divide us. And just as importantly, we cannot let them define us. Mm -hmm. British Muslims make an invaluable contribution to the UK as a whole, in all forms and walks of life, mm -hmm. from doctors to teachers, from business owners to professionals, and add an immense cultural value to the, to the rich fabric of modern, modern British life. To allow Trump the space to divide a group that plays such a huge role would be a shame upon us all. A report in 2013 by the Muslim Council of Britain tried to put an economic value on the impact of British Muslims make to the UK. The report showed that British Muslims make an estimated £31 billion plus contribution to our economy and that as a group have over £20.5 billion in spending power. That just as 2013, just in London alone, first of nearly 13,500 Muslim owned businesses create over 70,000 jobs. This shows a glimpse of the real impact Muslims have in this country. This is how Muslims should be portrayed, not the fearful, racist, bigoted views of someone who has used fear to win votes. Last year, I have to give way. I thank my honourable friend for give, giving way. Uh, does, she, does she agree with me that it is deeply saddening and shameful that uh, colleagues who are defending this visit are not recognising the serious concern mm. people have, particularly Muslims, but many other communities, about the dangers of the rhetoric of Donald Trump. And it's time they spoke out against that kind yeah. of hostility. Yeah. It's yeah. deeply yeah. divisive, yeah. and it's time they address this issue instead of making excuses yeah. and being apologists for yeah. his yeah. hatred. Yeah. 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 I thank my honourable friend for uh, making them very valid points and absolutely concur. Last year, when we first debated a potential ban, I will happily take up my honourable friend's challenge. The, the, his attitude to Muslims is an outrage. And what's most outrageous is it's totally lacking in evidence because all of the deaths caused by terrorists on US soil since 9-11 have been caused by US citizens or residents. Mm. And the 9-11 attacks were caused by pe pe people from outside the US but from none of those seven countries. Yeah. So not only is it prejudiced, it totally lacks any evidence. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. I thank the honourable uh, friend for um, making those very valid points. I continue. Last year, when we first debated a potential ban, uh, Mr. Walker, in this, in this very chamber, I went on public record and I said that I wanted Trump to come. I wanted him to visit Bradford, Bradford West. The, we've, uh, I wanted to take him out for a curry. I invited him for a curry. I wanted him to see what contribution Muslims make uh, to this country and to my constituency. I wanted him to meet real Muslims, not the ones he has invented to for his own ends. I wanted him to walk down the street and meet pe people such as the Chief Superintendent, Mabs Hussain, who was born in my constituency. I wanted him to be and go take him to the school like Ikra Primary and meet a Muslim head teacher. And I wanted him to visit health professionals like Sahara and Lista Pharmacy and see Muslims on the front line of our healthcare service. I wanted him to see some of the tremendous businesses in my constituency being run by Muslims, providing jobs and growth, like Lala's, like N Khan's, My Lahore's, and many others. I wanted to show the world the cultural impact Muslims play in my constituency mm. through things like the amazing Bradford Literature Festival that is run by two extraordinary Muslim women. The, the World Annual World Curry Festival 
organized by a Muslim man. But to do so now, Mr. Walker, now that he is president, will only reinforce and condone his actions, his divisive, racist, and sexist messages. This is, that is sadly what he stands for at this moment and what he represents. And this flies in the face of everything we stand for, everything we thought we shared. We cannot support what he's doing by offering him legitimacy. We, my honourable friend touched upon double standards. The difference in this, in, this, in this conversation here is that the British people are aware of the human rights violations by the, about the misogyny that happens when we offered a visit by the Chinese Premier. So to pointing, out, pointing out all of that, we do not look to China for its record or advice and support on human rights mm. records or on how to treat women. We do not do that. But we do look to America. We do look to the United States of America, the, 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 uh, the leader of the free world, to support us in those shared values. What this president does not represent is those shared values that belong to mm. us, that belong to this house, that we have seen. You know, my, my children have even seen the movies where women have thrown themselves on these cobbles outside to get the right votes to right, right to vote in this country. We have seen we, we have seen what has happened with the civil rights movement. We cannot, where do this? When I spoke about this in the main chamber, I talked about the three steps, the first three steps to genocide as defined on Holocaust Memorial Day in their booklet. And I can tell you we're already on step three. So when the honorable gentleman tells me, are we stopping World War Three? Actually, what are we contributing to by allowing President Trump to continue in that rhetoric which divides people and tells us that the Muslims are the enemy, that the Muslims are the enemy we Within. That is me as a Muslim in this house. I am not an enemy to Western democracy. I am part of Western democracy. I fought my election really hard. I fought against all them things, them, that bigotry, the sexism, the patriarchy, to earn my place in this house. By allowing Donald Trump a state visit and bringing out the crockery, the china, the red carpet, what we are doing is endorsing all those views, all those things that I fought hard against and saying, do you know what? It's okay. Mm. Well, I absolutely thank the millions who have signed this petition. Uh, my heartfelt thanks to them, and I really, really do hope we do not honour this president. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.